Hey folks, a quick video today on the SMC Journal podcast. I'm Scott Moore, your host. Thank you for joining me. Uh, today is uh, just a little bit different. You know, we talk about everything that has to do with technology and I've spoken about infrastructure and networks and things before. I've also talked about my relationship with West Networks in Gainesville, Florida, who puts together units around the PepLink uh, network routers, cellular routers, and all of that equipment, uh, switches. They've got all kinds of stuff and I use their equipment a lot. Uh, I have mentioned that I have a mobile unit that I travel with called the HD4 uh, MBX, and it has multiple cellular providers. It can also bond all of these together as one big internet connection. So I could have different cellular providers all working together for me. And as I travel around the country, as I, I'm doing a lot, uh, as one cellular provider kind of gives out in one area because it's not as strong. Another one picks up. Uh, I always get the best signal and I can actually add a Starlink unit to this as well and bond with that. So th this is a very powerful unit. I've talked about it before. I'm going to put some uh, cards in this video as to reference some of the videos that I have, have done with Peter West himself of West Networks and also showing off this unit. Uh, you can see some pictures of this unit uh, right now as I'm talking. I made a video when I first started using this machine and I live in the state of Florida and I happened to be in Orlando and I, w I had the, the device with me and I thought, you know, Orlando, it should be a great signal there. And I found that actually wasn't the case. So I made this short video to show you the difference between just using my 5G connection in Orlando on a cell phone versus using this machine and being a business user and in working with large video files, large transfers, doing social media, live streaming, uh, you will see this would not have worked for me. I want you to check out this video and then we'll come back. Okay, in my right hand is a Verizon iPhone 15 Pro Max that's connected to the local LTE Verizon tower and to the left on my desktop machine this is a MacBook Pro M1 that's connected to my West Networks Beast Box which is an HD4 MBX and it's got uh, four sailor modems with it uh, all running at one time. There's two AT&T and two T-Mobile, and I'm using it as a hotspot in the hotel. So first, let's do a speed test on the phone. This is the connectivity that I would get with Verizon in this particular location. This is in Orlando, so you would think that I would get something really good uh, and this is early in the morning. This is almost 7 a.m. in the morning, so shouldn't be a whole lot of traffic outside. But I am getting a download speed of 2 point something, about 3 megs down. Let's see what it shows to be up. It's less than a meg. So if I were going to try to use this phone as a hotspot, and I didn't use, let's say, the hotel uh, for whatever reason, or I'm, I'm out and about, this is the connectivity that I would be getting, and it would be very hard to upload anything. So now let's do a speed test with the West Networks box. Now this is just a general speed test using speedtest.net. And right now I'm actually using only one of the AT&Ts. Okay, it looks like we're getting about 160 megs down, 159, and an upload of about uh, maybe 20 to 23. So much better connectivity uh, with the West Networks as we bond all of these cellular modems together. If I had the other AT&T working, this would probably be uh, over 200 download speed. Now, for some of you, you may say, well, that's overkill. I'll never need to have four cellular providers. But right now, I'm talking to mobile healthcare trucks, or maybe you work for a news outlet and you need to be anywhere reporting live and you need to make sure you've got a great connection. Maybe you're working for a first responder type situation, fire trucks, EMTs, um, things where it counts. 
These are the professionals I'm really talking to. But also, if you're a power user like me and you are doing stuff with media today, uh, sometimes you're going to need to be in, in areas where signal may not be as strong. And so when you're out there running through um, Winslow, Arizona uh, and, and rocking through that state, uh, you're going to find some connectivity issues, I guarantee you, where nothing would work. And so in those times, you're going to need a machine like this. If you need that reliability, I highly recommend that you check out West Networks and what type of equipment. You don't necessarily have to get the ultimate HD4, you know, like I have with multiple antennas. They have a lot of different choices for people than you can scale up to something like this. But there are other solutions that are, uh, they're, they're not as robust but they're maybe a lot better than just having a single provider as a hotspot on your cell phone. So I, I encourage you to check them out. Information about them is in the description of this video. I'd like to know what you think. What do you use for something like this? Have you used something similar to this uh, for your internet connectivity? And what do you think about it? Uh, reach out to me. Let me know. I'm on most social media platforms, including LinkedIn, Twitter X, Instagram. I think I've got a, a TikTok channel too. I've got, I've got some people helping me get all that stuff uh, running and set up, but you can easily reach out to me by email as well. Hey, Scott at the smcjournal.com would be great if you like this kind of content to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is kind of getting up there on the numbers. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to reach 300,000 users as we create this video right now. Uh, and don't forget my newsletter. I'll make sure that I've got a link up here for signing up with my newsletter. Um, it's growing uh, several hundred right now. And we're trying to reach a thousand right now. Uh, and if you would like to, to advertise on this show or advertise on that newsletter. Uh, we are actually looking for some swag to give away. Every month, I give away a box of swag and it seems to get more and more every month, gift cards and things. And it's just basically a thank you for supporting my content and being part of the mailing list. And we'd love to have you on that. Um, let me know what you think about the show, what kind of other content you'd like to see on here, what type of companies would you like to see? Is there a particular person that you'd like me to interview and talk to on this show? Uh, be happy to try to make that happen for you. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share. We'll see you on the next SMC Journal Show. I'm Scott Moore. Bye-bye.